Hey, it's Gabriel, and I just met with Tom No, the CEO of Metis. We had a great conversation about everything they're building, how they're supporting their builders, as well as how you can get involved. Tune in to learn a lot more. So you just got back from Hong Kong. Yes. You're at East Denver. How yes. are you feeling? Uh, the energy is great. I, I, I love it. I think, you know, I'm a little jet lag, but, you know, with the audience here and the crowd, it's very organic. It's very different from other conferences. You get uh, a, a chance to really meet the users, the community, and maybe even developing teams that may not have the capital to sponsor or, or, or bring their team to certain events. But ETH Denver really gives it to the community where they can register, join free. So it's a great to, way to really interact with a different type of audience than other conferences. Very unique, I would say. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. And how's the energy feeling right now? Uh, it's great. I'm, I'm awake. I'm alive. There we uh, go. There we off, go. Uh, 36 hour flight from Asia and I'm still rolling. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. So before we get into the company, tell me a little bit about your background. Yeah. So my family has been into entrepreneurial space all my life. And uh, we did re retail, real estate, uh, different kind of uh, retail businesses. And for me, I wanted to do anything but what my family did okay uh so I, I grew up in the family business learned uh the, the trade and also learned about management but i, I took all everything i earned reinvested with the family uh fortunately and then started investing on my own so i've been trading since 2005 uh, i got into equities commodities uh forex crypto has always been in my sight uh but it didn't really solidify until coinbase did the IPO. And once that happened, it solidified, hey, this is a financial kind of uh, product that you can really respect and not have to worry about, I would say, uh, it being not uh, embraced by the industry. Uh, we're still growing, even from our side, traditional finance are already kind of getting in and a little bit deeper with the ETFs last year, right, which is great. Right, right. Uh, but after I learned about, you know, Coinbase and seeing the development, it was a great opportune time for me that I saw to invest my time, my talent, and my experience to help grow the space. So that's how I got into the space. Oh, amazing. Okay. So I'd love to hear how, tell us about your company. Tell us about Metis. Yeah. Metis is one of the first L2, uh, I would say one, the third one that launched. So we've been really? around for a few cycles and we've seen the challenges from an ecosystem development side to kind of the projects and the, the teams that are building in the ecosystem. And we, we learned quite a bit and how to really work and, and really run an organization too, because you think about blockchain, but you, there's also a business side, a growth side that many people in the development side aren't familiar with, right? Hey, I've been coding since I was five. I've been doing it all my life. Here, I'm 18, I have a great product, or hey, I'm 25, I've been coding all my life, but they don't have the business aspect. So we're learning that a lot of these developers also need some coaching, some guidance from the business side, go to market, and also a user, uh, awareness know what your user want just don't develop a solution with no problem that is that exists and we as a developer real developers are really technical and i think we're getting to an area where user is the main focus and we see that um but yeah gotcha okay so how are you providing them the guidance yeah we we have uh different partners that we work with the industry that are experts in different areas so met us as an l2 just supporting ethereum and, and providing the solution what the bottleneck that ethereum had is you know the transaction fee the speed uh we're providing the tools the resources uh and pairing that with certain accelerator programs and grants and uh grant programs to help guide them through going to market or help them refine their product so it's a more of a product market fit for actually the general use case uh for for blockchain amazing so what announcements do you have? Any, any, anything new coming up? Yeah, so uh, on stage at the open ceremony, we highlighted that we're launching a, a, a new chain that will be closely working with, uh, collaborating with our original chain, Andromeda, mm. uh, which is super exciting. Uh, this chain will be focused on what the industry is asking for and really focused on which is the uh, machine learning and the AI side. So we're, we're, we'll have more details tomorrow. Okay. I'm not sure when this will air, okay. uh, but we, we have an infrastructure that will help provide an, a solution that's a big bottleneck in, in the AI space, which is data verification. Mm -hmm. And that's one area that people see simple, but it's an area that needs to be uh, touched upon because right now we're getting to a point where AI is a source of truth for many, but knowing where the data set is coming from, who's mm -hmm. verifying it, mm -hmm. and that point of view I think it's more important now than ever. Actually, I had a conversation with a colleague at the event and he was saying, hey, you know, certain countries are, are launching multiple uh, websites, big websites 
to maybe uh, validate the narrative that they want to push out. So once you have a over encompassing information, the data and the machine, or I guess the AI side will pick up the fake kind of like, I would say redirected info instead of the source of truth. So this mm -hmm. is one example of an area that we can tackle uh, this is verifying the, the source of truth and the point of view. Okay. Okay. Fascinating. So how are you positioning yourselves in like the evolving layer two and like the blockchain space? Yeah, so Metas, we, we, we saw a, a challenge with Ethereum. And now that blockchain space is uh, the development and evolution has caught up to a, a point where it can facilitate and support the AI side. Mm. Uh, we, we see a, a challenge now uh, on the AI side. So I, I say we're not positioning ourselves just as a, uh, in the L2 space. We're positioning ourselves in the industry mm. to support AI data verification with our new different frameworks from our incubated project like Laz AI, which mm -hmm. is an incubated project that will uh, be highlight. We'll, we'll share more details on that on terms of what we're really focusing on. Uh, we have a uh, AI framework to help really evolve on the DeFi side that you're really hearing about and other DeFi application that can really integrate with the blockchain and, and uh, AI. Amazing. So I'm actually curious, what what are your thoughts kind of like on where we're at with DeFi and also just AI being involved? Yeah, I think, you know, from the, the AI side, uh, machine learning and, and, and on the ASI has been around for many, many years, mm -hmm. even on the traditional trading side. Uh, traders have been using it for, um, I would say, well over 10 years. But for the blockchain, there's a lot of awareness because now you see a convergence of how blockchain can definitely support the AI side. So it, it, it makes a lot of sense because blockchain is, is extremely complex. So if you have an agent, that is truthfully helping you kind of navigate the space and, and managing kind of your liquidity position if you're in the DeFi side, then it takes away the complexity, mm. uh, which we go back to the user side, which I mentioned earlier. And from the DeFi space, I think, you know, DeFi is, is also a business. You're, you're extracting value somewhere, right. redistributing it to certain parties. Okay. So there's value extraction constantly from fees, trading fees, maybe engagement fees. Uh, so in terms of like, I think DeFi has got, gotten so complex with the restaking, staking, and, and yield chasing uh, for, I would say, the, the typical retail market that it gets so, it's so confusing now. Mm -hmm. Because as a project, they want to maybe gamify it in a complex way where it, it, it provides a, hey, attractive, hey, marketing, mm -hmm. but they don't want everybody to participate because at every, every engagement, there's a cost. People don't realize the cost is coming from somewhere. It doesn't right. come out of thin air. Right. So there's always an extraction layer and then redistribution, redistribution distribution layer and then, or I would say a component. And then, hey, this is the marketing. Come check out the sale. We only have a limited bit of the sale. If we sell too much, we lose money. Mm -hmm. That's from a traditional business side. Gotcha. So I think from what well, your question is like, what do you think DeFi and AI? I think from the DeFi side, people are, are understanding like the risks and also the challenges interacting with blockchain. AI is, I think it's, it's still mid to long term, uh, but DeFi is still a, a strong component of what, uh, pe why people engage with blockchain. Fascinating, yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Okay, so I guess tell us how can people get involved? Yeah, so from the meta side, we were, we're, we're looking to work with builders who are, uh, can maybe utilize or engage in the AI space. We have a chain that will help facilitate, help uh, support their protocol. Um, if they're utilizing any kind of data set and say, hey, I want to start on a foundation. I want to have engaged in kind of what you guys are building. I believe in the source of data is, is very strong. Uh, reach out to us at metis.io. Uh, we have the resources there to, to be connected. Um, that, that's one, one way. And we have many grants to help support builders and, and ways to support all the different needs and the different verticals to succeed. Great. Yeah. And so how can people stay in contact or stay updated? And yeah aware of, of you guys yeah just follow us on our social metas um, go to metas.io first and then uh <laughs> if you want to follow me tom go defi that's my ex social handle okay we share the latest developments and comments and kind of our engagement in the space amazing so it seems like metas has a few different verticals can you elaborate a little bit before we finish off here yeah sure it's from the meta side we we started as a solution uh, infrastructure for ethereum but we see the market has grown to more than just one blockchain and we're seeing kind of the development of different l1s 
Uh, we have Goat Network, which is a BTC layer two that's going to mainnet pretty soon. We have ZKM, which is a language to help developers utilize uh, to really tie into different blockchain infrastructure. And now we have our high performance chain with more details to be shared tomorrow and uh, our AI side, which is Laza AI. So I think with blockchain, it's not just a narrow component anymore. It's a synergistic kind of uh, collusion of all the, these different products that we can't, I would say, not be aware of. We have to engage and working with all the different blockchains and our, our development from our side, it helps bring things together and move the industry forward faster. So I think uh, just to close things off, that's kind of one of our, our main focus uh, on the meta side to really advance this industry with the different challenges that, that we see uh, and, and stay committed to our roots and our, why we were created. Okay, amazing. Sounds super exciting. Thanks again, Nick Gabriel. Brought to you by Hedera and Foresight Ventures. Hey, what's up? If you want to survive, you got to build a house. Ladies and gentlemen, the back of the Gen Z Media House. Oscar, thanks so much for joining us today.